Hi guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a glittery Doyun inspired makeup look. I actually have a lot of glitter in my collection somehow. I've collected this over the last year or so and I really want to be more experimental with my makeup and I love this look that I've been seeing online everywhere so I really wanted to attempt it. I've already done my skincare and put on sunscreen so first I'm going in with the e.l.f. primer to prime my face. This is something new I've been doing. Then I'm using a color corrector around my eyes, my mouth, on the sides of my nose and on any kind of discoloration on my face this has been a game changer if you have hyperpigmentation using a reddish color corrector or the one whatever is appropriate for your skin tone can take your makeup and make it look good before this my makeup always used to look gray especially around my eyes this really helps offset that I'm just using my sure based foundation it is so dewy and glowy oh my gosh i have oily skin so i probably should not be using this foundation but i love it so much and it feels really nice on the skin and i'm going in with this misha puff to pat in the foundation i usually start on my forehead just because i just put color corrector on my face and i want that color corrector to sink in and really like kind of dry down before i start Putting something on top of it i'm actually doing like quite a thin layer and this foundation has a medium coverage so it covers my acne pretty well if i do say i don't go too close to my under eyes just because i'm going to be putting another product on there and that product is actually this the merit minimalistic you can use it as a foundation or you can use it as a concealer it's multifunctional so i've been using it as a concealer and i have been using different concealers tried to find one that actually doesn't get super patchy under my eye and this one is so good even as i'm putting it on it kind of like has a very thin and nice texture to it and then you just rub it in with your fingers and it looks like skin i really love every merit beauty product i've tried and this one actually might be my favorite of the ones i've tried i have a link that you can use on merit beauty's website with my link you'll get a discount and also with every first order you make on the website you get the free signature brown bag it's actually a really nice quality bag but yeah so i kind of just like put this all around my eye area and pat it in with my fingers and it leaves a really nice natural looking finish i'm just going in with a loose powder now to set everything that i've just put on my face and then i'm starting the actual eyeshadow so i'm using this palette from i meme it's so cute and it's actually the one that new jeans makeup artist uses i start with this very white shade as like a base color and i put it all around my eyelid but directing it first from the inner corner of my eye outward and i have to use a lot of product on my eyelid actually because color just does not show then i'm taking this pale pink eyeshadow shade and putting it again all over my eyelid but starting from the inner corner and i'm also putting this one under my eye I'm blending the product out by dragging it all over my eyelid and I'm trying to create like a little I don't exactly know how to describe how I'm doing this but I'm dragging it out to the upper corner of my eyelid as well so some of the color shows beyond my eye like hugging basically the outer corners of my eyelid I'm taking my blush now the same blush that I'm going to use on my face and I'm putting this near the outer corners of my eyelid and this is because I want the colors of my eyes to generally match the colors that I'm also putting on my face the blush color is a lot more pigmented so i had to use less of the product but it's this really pretty dark red and again i'm creating like a shape around my eye and dragging out the color a little bit beyond the edge of my eyelid eyeliner is one of my favorite parts of makeup as in i really like how it looks but it takes me so long to do my eyeliner i wanted to go for a long extended slightly upwards wing this time so i really took my time with it i think that's my biggest tip with eyeliner take your time kind of like map out how you want your wing to be and then do it in tiny tiny strokes and drag down Doing makeup is slowly becoming a therapeutic activity for me. Usually these days at like 10 p.m. I'll suddenly have the urge to put on makeup for no reason at all. I just want to kind of play around. It's very artistic and very calming and I would really like to get better at doing different makeup looks this year. I was actually doing my makeup this morning while watching Bluey on TV with my brother and it just elevated the experience even more because Bluey, if you don't know, is like this really cute Australian TV show. 
and it was just a really nice experience overall and this day because of these really fun activities that I enjoyed that I was doing I had a really nice day Guys, it is time for the glitter and this part, my only instruction is to go crazy with it. I started by using this really pigmented glitter stick under my eye, dragging it from the inner corner outwards only on like the first third of my under eye region. Then using this Unleashia All Glitter Palette, I'm using the center pearl white color and drawing a line across my eyelid crease where my eyelids kind of fold into each other right above that region. I'm also using this more wet, thick kind of glitter. It reminds me of mermaid scales and I'm putting it on the center of my eyelid to make it really like pop. Now I'm curling my lashes and I'm going in with mascara, which is my favorite part. I use both a lengthening and volumizing mascara and I'm adding it to my top and bottom lashes. I am very gentle with it and I pay attention to if my eyelashes start to clump together so I brush them through thoroughly with the mascara wand. Mascara makes such a big difference. It's amazing. I'm applying this lip plumper to my lips now and letting it just sit for a while and work. I'm putting more glitter under my eyes. Finally, I'm going in with the same blush that I was using before, but I'm actually putting it on my cheeks this time. For my blush recently, I've been putting it in the center of my cheek and drawing it across a horizontal line. And then I've also been putting it on the tip of my nose and dragging it out along that region too. I'm using the same Unleashia glitter palette and putting some glitter on one of my cheeks. I try to do like cross designs, but it's really hard to control the glitter and the brush actually. So it kind of looked messy, but it's okay because it still looks cute. I'm using this Merit Beauty highlighter to highlight the tip of my nose and my nose bridge. I'm removing all of the product that was sitting on my lips and going in with a lip liner to outline and then my lipstick and then I'm using this Bia lip tint to add some more color I forgot my eyebrows It does not look exactly like the inspiration pictures, but say la vie. I really like how this makeup came out. I kept it on for the entire day, even though I did absolutely nothing for the rest of the day except watch movies and chill with my brother. But I really enjoyed doing this. Like I said before, I really want to play with more makeup. Also, make sure to check out Merit Beauty. I'll have all of the information for Merit Beauty and all the other products I used in this video down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great week, a great day, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!